must try dessert in India, especially in the winter season, is the carrot pudding or gajar ka halwa. Very commonly made, yet every household has its own unique taste. And I have tried my best to share this recipe in the most easiest way. So try this out and let me know how it turned out. Hey guys, I'm Subhan Kari and I welcome you all to my channel Sus Food Corner English. And I hope you do all right being great in your lives. If you are new to my page, to subscribe to my page and do not forget to tap the bell button. Thank you all for loving my channel so much and liking my videos so much. So let's begin with this awesome recipe. First and foremost requirement for this delicious carrot dessert is a nice red carrot. Especially those carrots that come in winter, not the orange one, the red ones. I have nicely washed them. And I have cut into small slices in this way, round round slices. And first I will use the pressure cooker. I will heat it on medium flame, 2 tablespoons of clarified butter I have added. And to flavor this I have added 2 green cardamom, 2 to 3 green cardamom. I have slightly crushed them so that this ghee can be nicely tempered. And once this is done I will add this carrot slices. Around 1.5 kg of carrots I had taken. And just uh, in high flame mix them for one minute or so and then I need to close the lid and cook it on medium flame for two whistles thing is that the carrots will release the moisture if we cook it in medium flame and that will be enough sufficient to cook this carrots meanwhile I have taken a half a liter of milk and I just need to boil this on high flame wait till it comes to a boil and then reduce the flame to medium and let it simmer on medium flame for around 6 to 7 minutes after it has come to a boil so that this milk can be nicely thickened and this will be using you now carrots and meanwhile my uh, carrots have released the pressure the pressure cooker and this is how it's looking you can see there's enough moisture from the carrots and I'll just show you how this carrots are done it's perfectly done you can see it can be cut into half using a spoon that means it's okay and now let's begin the process a large nice pan I have taken a thick bottom pan is in city I just now need to stir it and after stirring for one to two minutes I'll allow the moisture to come in the center basically this is the moisture that is released from carrots while fresh cooking it and now reduce the flame to medium and let it evaporate on its own it will take around six to seven minutes and as you can see the excess moisture has evaporated and now it's time to just stir this carrot and roast it for around 4 to 5 minutes because this is the time we need to roast these carrots. So now I'll roast these carrots and now I'll use this potato smasher. Make sure you do not mash it completely. Some tiny tits and bit would actually give the halwa or the dessert a nice texture. So you can see here how I've smashed it. Little bit amount of uh, carrots is still intact that's what we want and that will actually contribute to the texture and now after just smashing this again just stir it for around four to five minutes more so that remaining moisture is evaporated you can see it's almost done and at this time we'll be adding uh, milk that has reduced a bit after it has been uh, boiling on medium flame for six to seven minutes this goes in and now it's time to roast 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 we just need to roast this carrots with this milk for around good seven to ten minutes on medium flame so that eventually the milk will thicken it will evaporate and will leave a very nice taste and meanwhile those eight to ten minutes will be enough to nicely roast these carrots in the milk and this is the time where the flavor builds up so make sure you do this process continuously and after 8 to 10 minutes you can see here it's almost dried up the milk and whatever roasting needs to be done will be done at this stage because once we will add sugar the roasting process or the cooking process will completely stop so make sure before adding sugar the milk should be evaporated and the carrots should be nicely roasted and then goes sugar around 200 grams I have added again it depends upon the sweetness of your carrots and the sweetness that you desire for your pudding give it a mix after adding sugar increase the flame to high for one to two minutes till the sugar starts to melt and once the sugar starts to melt decrease the flame to medium otherwise it can start to stick at the base but if you have taken a thick bottom kadhai or pan the chance is minimum and after stirring for more six to seven minutes you can see 
the sugar uh, the moisture the sugar has released it has dried up and the color of the halwa or the pudding has completely changed look how beautiful color gradually the pudding or the dessert has attained it's because the caramelization of sugar and now it's time to add flavors till now we have not added any more flavors and you can see the base is completely clear it has been nicely roasting and now i'll add khoa or mawa and this i have made at home just three ingredients milk powder some milk and one tablespoon of ghee and this khoa is perfect as we get in market it can be literally broken into half perfect khoa do check out this link in the i button and in the description box i'll share so i'll crumble randomly and add in my dessert or halwa and now on medium flame i'll add some cardamom powder half teaspoon and sous food corner specialist trick is that three to four drops of rose water that actually creates some magic so give it a stir and medium flame and this nice smelling dessert is ready after adding khoa you can see the color and the consistency has changed a bit and now it's time to wave the magic wand that's clarified butter and some dry fruits three tablespoon of clarified butter or ghee have heated in a nice saute pan and i have added some mixed dry fruits anything according to your choice just mix for one or two minutes on medium flame and this goes in this halwa or pudding at last this enhances the texture the sign the gloss the text everything and this actually works wonders when we add it at perfect time especially at last and now my halwa is looking just perfect you can see the consistency the texture it's grainy it's dry and it's nicely sorted 1.5 kg of carrot transformed into beautiful preparation of carrot pudding or gajar ka halwa now just stir for 2 to 3 minutes more and finally after 40 minutes of hard work yes it takes time and patience 40 to 45 minutes and this will be created magic of goodness health with all the goodness of dry fruits and ghee try this this winter will love the taste and as you as i said we did not grate the carrots we had used a pressure cooker that's the most easiest way out and yes this is my recipe once you have tried this you will love the flavor especially the homemade khoa works wonders try this recipe and let me know how it turned out the traditional way of making gajar ka halwa or the carrot pudding versus this way of making in pressure cooker obviously saves some time but definitely we are not compromising on the taste so try this out and now it's time for the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is from Abdul Aziz. He writes, it's all about patience, focus and dedication. At the end, a delicious mutton kasa. I didn't see you use any ready-made masala, powder or mutton masala. Only natural gota garam masala. Superb. It's unique. Thank you so much, Abdul, for such lovely words. He's actually talking about mutton kosha. Try this out. You will love the recipe. And for today's recipe, that's delicious carrot pudding or gajar ka halwa. You will love this part of Indian winters. And you can also follow Sue's Food Corner English on Instagram and Facebook. If you like today's video, do give a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. Do not forget to subscribe to my page. See you in next video. Till then, stay safe, love life and happy pudding.